Hi, I'm Mason Helm uh, from Stephen F. Austin State University. I'm the president of the Timber Sports team, the Sylvans, and we're going to be talking about knife throw. All right, so for knife throwing for conclave, uh, your blade has to be at least knife has to be at least six inches. Uh, it can't be homemade, and you can use actual throwing knives now. So what we would recommend is getting a heavier, longer throwing knife for beginners. It's a lot easier to handle and get your rotation down. The smaller, lighter knives are going to spin faster, and it's going to be a lot harder for you to get consistent. You have to be just near perfect to get it to stick. Uh, I would recommend buying at least five of these, so you, that way you can keep finding, like fine-tuning your throwing as you're going. You're not having to throw and then move off your spot and go get it. Uh, let's see. What we use a lot is stuff from Cold Seal. They're relatively affordable, pretty cheap. You can get them on Amazon different weights, different lengths. And for your target, you want to make sure it's actually on conclave par. It's uh, three and a half to four feet off the ground. So for knife throwing, the main thing that really matters is the fact that you can stick a knife. If you don't stick it, you don't get any points. Make sure you stick it. You have three main points we're going to go over. First one is your distance, distance to the target. So most people are going to throw around 16, 17 feet. You have to be at least 15 feet here at this state. And what I would recommend doing is going to the target, putting your back against it, and pacing out to, to a certain uh, line and mark it. Throw from there, and that way you can adjust from where you are. You'll have the same distance every time. Your second thing is your rotation, and that's going to be determined a lot by how you grip the knife. You can throw by the, by the blade or by the handle. Uh, I like to pull by the handle, and it's kind of a almost like a looser handshake style. And your amount of wrist flip is also going to determine how you can stick it with your different rotations. So if you have more of a flick, you're going to have more rotations, but if you kind of let it slide out of your hand, it won't rotate as much. Along with that is power. So it's how hard you throw the knife versus if you're just lightly tossing it. You don't want to you just be chucking it. You want to find a natural power you can do repeatedly. And uh, for this, repeatability is key. You want to be able to have the same distance, the same rotation, the same power. If you can't repeat it, you can't do it over and over and actually win. So your distance is a really big factor to be able to throw knives. So if you're at your correct distance, you'll be able to stick them. If you get a little too close, closer to the 15 foot mark and throw the same way, you'll bounce your knives. If you get a little too far back, well, that one's over-rotated, so it wouldn't have stuck. Because it'll bounce. So, if you're getting your knives to stick, you can tell if your rotation is correct by how they're uh, oriented in the target. So, if you throw from the correct distance, with the right uh, wrist angle, power, your knives are going to end up straight because they rotate directly into the target. If you are a little too far from the target, it can over rotate. So as you throw your knife, it's going to, instead of stopping here, it has a little more distance, it'll keep going. You know, it'll stick like this. And this can be because of your distance being too far back, or you're changing your wrist angle and your power. Uh, if your knife is under rotating, so instead of being able to fully lay down, it sticks early in the target, or bounces. Uh, this can be because you are too close, or you're changing your wrist angle and power again. So for a quick review of everything, I'm at my distance, I paced it off, uh, drew my line to keep it consistent, just practice. Target's the right height, uh, I've got my same grip I always use, loose handshake, and keep your power and wrist angle the same, you know, just throw for repeatability. And you want to minimize your uh, body movements, so you don't want to have be like walking up and throwing. The less movements you do, the less air you're going to have.
So when you're at Conclave and you start throwing your knives, uh, what you want to do is make sure that you're not going to be blocking yourself from throwing. So say your first throw is down here where this knife is, it's not really blocking the majority of the target, so you can throw again. There's no rule saying you have to throw one and go get it. There's no rule saying you have to throw all five at once. You can throw your first knife, if it's down here, throw your second one. If you throw your first or second or, and you get a bullseye, this is going to be blocking you or have a lot of potential to block you from getting another bullseye or even some of the two points. So if you hit here in the center, you want to stop, go, pull your knife so it's not blocking you anymore so you have a clear target to throw at again. So knife throwing is one of the more fluky events. So it can be just having a good day, having a bad day. You really want to get practice on this. And it's not just practice in one day a lot. It's practice for multiple days. You have to be consistent at this. Uh, what you can do is come out here, different weather conditions, rain, shine, hot, cold. Come out here and practice every, uh, every few days and you know, get your practice in in varying weather conditions. You really want to get comfortable being uncomfortable here. So at Conclave, you're going to have a big crowd around you. Practice with the crowd. See if you can get some of your friends to come out and watch you. Uh, it may be embarrassing at first, like it was for me, but you'll get it now because you'll get you'll get better and you won't uh, choke up whenever the time comes to actually throw. Practice on different targets. So you're going to have like a softer target, one that's more worn in here, or try to get a fresher target. You don't know if you're going to have a harder wood or a softer wood when it actually comes to competition. And try to throw from not just the front side of your target, but the back side of your target. Change what you're seeing, change your visuals to get you comfortable so when the time comes to actually change your visuals of Conclave, you'll be ready for it. So, to get ready for Conclave, you want to make sure you practice. Practice often and a lot. Uh, make sure you get your technique down. So practice with your uh, wrist flick, your power, your distance. And make sure you have enough knives of the right size, weight, and length to be able to keep practicing consistently. Thanks for watching. Excellent.